Lesson 1, Nice to meet you. Hi Anna, it's nice to meet you. Hi John, the pleasure is mine. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. What about you? I'm from the United States. Are you enjoying your time here? Yes, I am. The culture is fascinating. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Have you tried any local food yet? Yes, I had pizza last night. It was delicious. Pizza is great. We should try some other local dishes together. That sounds like a plan. I'm excited to explore more. Me too. Let's make the most of our time here. Definitely. It's always nice to meet new people and learn about different cultures. I couldn't agree more. We can learn so much from each other. Absolutely. It's an enriching experience. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Enjoy your day. Lesson 2, Lost Passport Hi Anna, excuse me, I lost my passport here at the airport. Oh no. That's terrible. Have you checked with the lost and found? Yes, I did, but they haven't found it yet. I'm really worried. Don't worry, let's go to the information desk and report it. That's a good idea. I hope they can help me find it. I'm sure they will. Let's stay positive. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. No problem. We're in this together. Excuse me, can you help me? I've lost my passport. Hi there, my friend lost his passport. Can you assist us? Yes, I lost it somewhere in the airport. I'm not sure where. We've already checked the lost and found, but it wasn't there. Is there anything else we can do to find it? They might have a lost passport procedure here. Let's ask. Thank you for your help. Your kindness means a lot. We'll figure this out. Don't worry. I'm lucky to have you as a friend. I'm grateful. It's my pleasure. We'll find a solution together. Excuse me, sir, is there any way to track a lost passport? Please, sir, any assistance would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Your support gives me hope. We'll do everything we can. Don't lose faith. I can't thank you enough. You're amazing. We'll keep searching. We won't give up. I don't know what I would do without you. Thank you. Lesson 3, Finding the Supermarket 
Hi Anna, could you give me directions to the big supermarket? Hi John, sure. Walk down that street until you see a big supermarket. Is it far from here? I hope I don't get lost. No, it's not far. Just keep walking straight, and you'll find it. Thank you for your help. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm happy to assist you. Should I turn left or right at the end of the street? Turn right, and you'll see the supermarket on your left. Got it. I'll keep an eye out for it. Thanks again. No problem. Enjoy your shopping. Excuse me, sir, is the supermarket nearby? Hi there, we're looking for a big supermarket. Can you help? Can you please give me directions to the supermarket? We appreciate any guidance you can provide. Thank you for your assistance. You're amazing. We'll find it. Don't worry. Excuse me, ma'am, could you tell me how to get to the supermarket? Hi, we're trying to find a big supermarket. Can you help us? Left or right at the end of the street? Which way should we go? Your help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. I'm grateful for your support. You're the best. We're a great team. We'll find it together. I can't thank you enough for your kindness. We're in this together. Let's keep going. Excuse me, sir, we're getting close to the supermarket? Please, sir, any guidance would be wonderful. Your help means the world to me. Thank you. We won't stop until we find it. Keep going. I'm truly lucky to have you by my side. Thank you. Lesson 4, Love for Painting Hi Anna, do you have any hobbies? Hi John, yes, I love painting. It's my favorite hobby. That's amazing. What kind of paintings do you create? I enjoy painting landscapes and portraits the most. How long have you been painting? Do you take classes? I've been painting for about five years. No, I'm self-taught. That's impressive. Do you have any favorite artists? I draw inspiration from Van Gogh and Monet. Those are great artists. Do you exhibit your paintings? Yes, I participated in a few local art exhibitions. That's fantastic. I'd love to see your artwork someday. Thank you. I'd be happy to show you my paintings. What do you enjoy most about painting? 
Painting allows me to express my creativity and emotions. That's a beautiful way to express yourself. I admire that. Thank you. It brings me joy and fulfillment. Have you ever sold any of your paintings? Yes, I've sold a few pieces to art enthusiasts. That's impressive. Your talent deserves recognition. I appreciate your kind words. Thank you. I'm glad you found something you're passionate about. Painting has truly enriched my life. It's my happy place. I can see the love and dedication in your artwork. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you. Keep following your passion. You're an inspiration. Lesson 5. Effective Marketing Strategies Hi Anna, I'm starting a new business. Any marketing tips? Hi John, I recommend using targeted online ads. That's a good idea. How can I reach my target audience? Research your audience's demographics and interests. Should I consider working with influencers as well? Yes, collaborating with influencers can boost your brand. How do I find the right influencers for my business? Look for influencers whose followers align with your target market. Besides online ads and influencers, what else can I do? Content marketing is another effective strategy. What type of content should I create for my business? Create valuable and engaging content related to your niche. How can I distribute my content to reach more people? Utilize social media platforms and email marketing. Is it important to track the effectiveness of my marketing? Yes, analyze data to measure your marketing efforts' success. What if I have a limited budget for marketing? Start with low-cost strategies like social media posting. That's a great tip. I'll make the most of my budget. I'm confident you'll succeed. Believe in your business. Thank you. Your advice is invaluable to me. I'm here to support you. Best of luck with your business. I appreciate your guidance. You're amazing. You're capable of achieving great things. Keep going. I'm grateful for your help. Thank you so much. Lesson 6. Essential Pantry Items Hi Anna, I need to stock up on pantry items. Hi John, what items are you looking for? I need flour, sugar, and pasta. Can you help me? Sure, you can find those in the baking and pasta aisles. Where can I find the flour? 
Is it near the sugar? Yes, both flour and sugar are usually in the baking aisle. Thank you. I'll head there first. You're welcome. Happy shopping. Which type of flour should I get? All-purpose flour is versatile and suitable for most recipes. That's good to know. I'll grab a bag of all-purpose flour. Great choice. It'll come in handy. Now, where can I find the sugar in the store? Sugar is often located near the baking supplies or coffee. Got it. I'll look for it in those sections. Perfect. You're doing great. What type of pasta should I buy? There are many options, but spaghetti is always a classic. I'll grab a pack of spaghetti then. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your cooking. Your guidance made shopping much easier. I'm glad I could assist you. Your help means a lot to me. Thank you. It's my pleasure. I'm here to help. I appreciate your support. You're amazing. You're too kind. Thank you for your kind words. I'm truly grateful for everything. Thank you. Lesson 7, Vibrant Carnivals and Samba Dancing Hi Anna, have you ever been to a carnival or seen samba dancing? Hi John, yes, I've experienced the magic of carnivals. That sounds amazing. Tell me more about it. Carnivals are lively celebrations with colorful parades. Are there any traditional elements in these parades? Yes, costumes, floats, and music are key components. What about the samba dancing? Is it a big part of it? Absolutely. Samba is the heart and soul of carnival dancing. Can you describe the samba dance moves? Samba involves lively footwork and hip movements. It must be mesmerizing to watch. Is it difficult to learn? It takes practice, but anyone can learn the basics. Are there samba dance classes available for beginners? Yes, many dance studios offer samba lessons. That's fantastic. I'd love to try it someday. You should give it a go. It's a lot of fun. Do people of all ages participate in these carnivals? Yes, people of all ages come together to celebrate. Have you ever danced samba in a parade? Yes, I've had the joy of dancing in a carnival parade. That's wonderful. It must have been an incredible experience. 
It was truly unforgettable. The energy was electrifying. Your stories make me want to experience it too. I encourage you to embrace the carnival spirit. Thank you for sharing your carnival experiences. You're welcome. I'm glad I could share the magic. You have a way of bringing things to life. Thank you. Lesson 8, Outdoor Adventures and Hiking Boots Hi Anna, I'm planning an outdoor adventure. Hi John, that sounds exciting. What do you need? That's perfect, but I forgot to bring my hiking boots. Don't worry, you can probably find them at an outdoor store. Do they sell hiking boots along with other outdoor gear? Yes, outdoor stores typically have a wide selection of boots. That's a relief. I'll head to the store right away. Good luck finding the perfect pair of hiking boots. What should I look for in hiking boots? Look for boots that provide good ankle support and traction. Should I choose waterproof boots as well? If you'll be hiking in wet conditions, waterproof boots are a good idea. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. You're welcome. I hope you find the perfect pair. Have you been on any hiking adventures? Yes, I've had the pleasure of exploring beautiful trails. Any memorable hiking experiences you can share? I once hiked to the top of a breathtaking mountain. That must have been an incredible achievement. It was a challenging but rewarding experience. Your stories inspire me to go on more hikes. I'm glad I could ignite your passion for hiking. Thank you for your encouragement and guidance. It's my pleasure. Happy hiking and enjoy the outdoors. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you. Lesson 9, The Calming Effect of Decluttering Hi Anna, have you ever experienced the benefits of decluttering? Hi John, yes, I have. It's amazing how it brings calmness. Tell me more about the impact of decluttering. Decluttering creates a sense of order and clarity. How does it affect our mental well-being? It reduces stress and helps create a peaceful environment. What are some practical ways to start decluttering? Start small, one area at a time, and sort items into categories. Should I keep things that hold sentimental value? Keep the ones that truly bring you joy and have a special meaning. What should I do with items I no longer need or use? Donate, sell, or recycle them to give them a new purpose. 
Have you experienced a sense of calm after decluttering? Absolutely. It's liberating and refreshing. Any tips to maintain a clutter-free space? Regularly reassess your belongings and avoid unnecessary purchases. I'm inspired to start decluttering my home now. That's wonderful. Enjoy the process and the benefits it brings. Thank you for sharing your insights on decluttering. You're welcome. I'm happy to help. Your guidance is invaluable. Thank you so much. Lesson 10, Morning Exercise Routine. Hi Anna, I see you're a health enthusiast. How long do you usually exercise in the morning? Hi John, I aim for a 30-minute workout to start my day. That's impressive. What type of exercises do you do? I do a combination of cardio, strength training, and stretching. How do you stay motivated to exercise regularly? Setting goals and finding activities I enjoy keeps me motivated. Any tips for someone who wants to start a morning exercise routine? Start with small goals and gradually increase intensity and duration. Should I consult a fitness professional before starting? It's a good idea, especially if you have any health concerns. Do you have any favorite exercises? I enjoy running, yoga, and bodyweight exercises. How do you find the time for morning exercise? I wake up a bit earlier to make time for my workout. Does exercising in the morning energize you for the day? Yes, it boosts my energy and sets a positive tone for the day. I want to incorporate exercise into my morning routine too. That's great. It's a wonderful habit to embrace. Thank you for sharing your insights on morning exercise. You're welcome. I'm happy to help. You're an inspiration. Thank you for motivating me. Lesson 11, Creative Upcycling Projects. Hi Anna, I turned an old wooden ladder into a bookshelf and a broken guitar into a. Hi John, that's fantastic. What did you turn the guitar into? I transformed it into a unique wall-mounted shelf. That's a brilliant way to repurpose old items. Any other upcycling projects? Yes, I also converted an old suitcase into a stylish side table. That's creative. How did you do it? I added legs and a glass top to the suitcase. I'm impressed by your DIY skills. What inspired you to upcycle? I wanted to give new life to discarded objects and reduce waste. That's a wonderful mindset. It's great for the environment too. Absolutely. 
It's a small step towards sustainability. Do you have any tips for someone interested in upcycling? Start with simple projects and let your creativity guide you. What are some common items that can be upcycled? Old furniture, bottles, jars, and even clothing can be transformed. It's amazing what a little creativity can do. Any future upcycling plans? I'm thinking of turning an old bicycle wheel into a unique wall clock. That sounds like a fascinating project. I can't wait to see it. Have you tried any upcycling projects yourself? Yes, I turned an old window frame into a decorative picture frame. That sounds beautiful. Upcycling truly allows for personalization. It does. It adds a touch of uniqueness to your space. Thank you for sharing your thoughts on upcycling. You're welcome. I'm glad we could discuss this topic. Your creativity is inspiring. Thank you for the conversation. Lesson 12, Embracing Upcycling. Hi Anna, I'm excited to start upcycling now. It's a win-win for the environment and me. Hi John, that's fantastic. Upcycling is a great way to make a positive impact. Absolutely. It allows us to be creative while reducing waste. What items do you plan to upcycle first? I have some old glass bottles that I want to turn into vases. That's a wonderful idea. Glass bottles can be transformed beautifully. Have you upcycled any glass bottles before? Yes, I turned some into decorative candle holders. That sounds lovely. I can picture it creating a cozy ambience. It does. It adds a touch of warmth to the space. Any tips for upcycling glass bottles? You can paint them, add embellishments, or use them for storage. That's helpful. I'll explore different ideas for my bottles. I'm excited to see what you come up with. Besides bottles, what other items can be upcycled easily? Old wooden pallets can be transformed into unique furniture pieces. That's interesting. I'll look for pallets to repurpose. You can make coffee tables, planters, or even outdoor seating. Your ideas are inspiring. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. I'm happy to help. You're a true visionary. Thank you for the conversation. Lesson 13, Planning a Vacation Hi Anna, I'm planning a vacation. Do you have any suggestions? Hi John, of course. Where are you thinking of going? I'm considering a beach destination. 
Any recommendations? How about the Maldives? It's known for its stunning beaches. That sounds amazing. I'll make a note of that. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help with? Yes, do you have any tips for finding good hotel deals? Booking in advance and comparing prices online can help you find deals. That's a great tip. I'll start looking early to get the best prices. Another suggestion is to consider staying in vacation rentals or hostels. I'll keep that in mind. It's good to have budget-friendly options. Absolutely. It allows you to save money for other activities. Speaking of activities, any must-visit attractions you recommend? If you're in the Maldives, snorkeling or diving is a must-do. Snorkeling sounds exciting. I'll make sure to include that. Also, don't miss the opportunity to relax on the pristine beaches. I can't wait to unwind and soak up the sun. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you have an incredible vacation. I appreciate your suggestions. Thank you for everything. Lesson 14, Planning the Duration Hi Anna, I've been thinking about our upcoming trip. That would be challenging for us. Hi John, what are you referring to? Could you clarify? I meant the duration of the trip. We initially discussed 30 days, but I think that might be too long. I understand. So, what duration do you have in mind now? Could we settle on 20 days instead? It seems more manageable. That sounds reasonable. We can make the most of those 20 days. Great. I think it strikes a good balance between time and exploration. Absolutely. We can plan our itinerary accordingly. Speaking of which, any specific places you'd like to visit? I've always wanted to explore the historic city of Rome. Rome sounds fascinating. Let's make sure to include it in our plans. We can also consider other cities in Italy for a well-rounded experience. That's a good point. Italy has so much to offer in terms of culture and history. Indeed, it's a treasure trove of art, architecture, and culinary delights. I can't wait to immerse ourselves in the Italian culture. Grazie. Prego. I'm excited for our adventure too. Your enthusiasm is contagious. Thank you for everything. Lesson 15, Photography Passion. Hi Anna, I've been practicing my photography skills lately. I love capturing those special moments. Hi John, that's wonderful. 
Photography is a great way to express your creativity. Absolutely. I enjoy it everywhere I go. Do you have any photography tips? Lighting is key. Try shooting during the golden hour for beautiful, soft light. That's a great tip. I'll make sure to plan my shoots accordingly. Another tip is to experiment with different angles and perspectives. I'll keep that in mind. It's important to find unique ways to frame my shots. Don't forget to pay attention to composition and the rule of thirds. Composition is crucial. It can make or break a photograph. And don't be afraid to edit your photos to enhance their visual impact. Editing is like the final touch. It can take a photo to the next level. Exactly. Enjoy the process and let your creativity shine through. Thank you. Your advice is invaluable. I'm excited to continue my photography journey. I'm glad I could help. Keep capturing those special moments. Your support means a lot. Thank you so much. Lesson 16, Hotel Amenities. Hi Anna, I have a question about the hotel we're staying at. Hi John, what would you like to know about the hotel? Does the hotel have an elevator for guests? Yes, we have an elevator. It's accessible from the lobby. That's great to hear. It's convenient for guests with heavy luggage. Absolutely. It's designed to make our guests stay more comfortable. I appreciate that. Accessibility is important for everyone. We strive to provide a pleasant experience for all our guests. That's commendable. Thank you for clarifying. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that covers it. Thank you for your help. It's my pleasure. Enjoy your stay at the hotel. Your assistance is much appreciated. Thank you so much. Lesson 17, Wardrobe Refresh Hi Anna, I'm tired of my old clothes. Let's declutter and refresh our wardrobes. Hi John, that sounds like a great idea. It's always good to update our style. Exactly. Where do we start with the decluttering process? We can begin by going through our clothes and sorting them into keep, donate, and discard piles. That's a smart approach. Let's be mindful of what we truly need and enjoy wearing. Agreed. It's important to create a wardrobe that reflects our personal style. Once we declutter, how can we refresh our wardrobes without spending a fortune? We can explore thrift stores or online platforms for second-hand clothing. It's budget-friendly and sustainable. 
That's a great suggestion. It's a win-win situation. We can also consider swapping clothes with friends or organizing a clothing swap event. Swapping clothes is a fantastic way to add variety to our wardrobes without spending money. And let's not forget about accessories. They can transform an outfit and give it a fresh look. You're right. Accessories can make a big difference. Let's experiment with different pieces. Absolutely. It's all about expressing our individuality through our style choices. Your ideas are inspiring. Thank you for suggesting this wardrobe refresh. You're welcome. It's always exciting to revamp our wardrobes and discover new fashion possibilities. Your support means a lot. Thank you for being my style partner. Lesson 18, Knowledge Expansion. Hi Anna, attending events like this helps in expanding our knowledge too. Hi John, absolutely. Events provide great opportunities to learn and grow. It's amazing how much we can gain from interacting with experts and fellow attendees. Interacting with others allows us to exchange ideas and gain new perspectives. Learning from different perspectives broadens our understanding of the world. It helps us challenge our own assumptions and think critically. Exactly. It encourages us to explore new topics and expand our horizons. Attending events also gives us access to valuable resources and information. Networking at events can lead to new collaborations and opportunities as well. It's a chance to meet like-minded individuals who share similar interests. Engaging in conversations with experts can deepen our understanding of various subjects. Being a part of an event creates a dynamic and stimulating learning environment. Your insights are enlightening. Thank you for emphasizing the importance of attending events. Lesson 19, Project Leadership. Hi Anna, I have led projects before. Have you had any specific experience? Hi John, yes, I've led a few projects in my previous role. It was a valuable learning experience. That's impressive. What strategies did you find effective in leading a project? Clear communication and delegation were key. It helped ensure everyone was on the same page. Communication indeed plays a crucial role in project success. How did you handle challenges? I approached challenges with a problem-solving mindset and sought input from team members. Involving the team in problem-solving is a great way to foster collaboration and ownership. Absolutely. It boosts morale and encourages innovative thinking. How did you keep the project on track and meet deadlines? I created a timeline and set milestones to track progress. Regular check-ins helped address any issues promptly. 
Setting milestones and having regular check-ins are effective ways to maintain project momentum. It also allowed for adjustments and course corrections if needed. How did you celebrate project milestones and accomplishments? We celebrated with small team gatherings or recognition emails to acknowledge everyone's hard work. Recognizing and appreciating the team's efforts is essential for motivation and morale. It boosts team spirit and encourages continued dedication. Your project leadership insights are valuable. Thank you for sharing your experience. Lesson 20, Influencer Marketing. Hi Anna, I noticed the shift towards influencer marketing. Has it caught your eye as well? Hi John, absolutely. Influencer marketing has become a powerful tool for brands to reach their target audience. It's fascinating how influencers can effectively promote products and services through their online presence. Influencers have built a loyal following, and their recommendations carry significant influence. I've seen many brands collaborate with influencers to create sponsored content. It seems to be effective. Collaborating with influencers allows brands to tap into their authenticity and connect with their followers. Influencers often have a deep understanding of their audience, which helps in delivering tailored messages. Their content feels more relatable and authentic compared to traditional advertising approaches. I've noticed influencers using different platforms like Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. It's a diverse landscape. Each platform offers unique opportunities to engage with different demographics and target markets. It's interesting to see how influencer marketing has evolved and become a mainstream marketing strategy. Brands now carefully select influencers based on their niche, values, and alignment with their brand image. Authenticity and transparency are crucial in influencer marketing to maintain trust with the audience. Absolutely. Audiences appreciate genuine recommendations and transparent partnerships. Your insights into influencer marketing are enlightening. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Lesson 21, Exploring Healthier Options. Hi Anna, I've been meaning to try some healthier options. Any recommendations? Hi John, absolutely. There are plenty of delicious and nutritious alternatives out there. That's great to hear. What are some healthier options you enjoy? I love incorporating more fruits and vegetables into my meals. They're packed with vitamins and minerals. I should definitely include more of those in my diet. Any specific fruits or vegetables you suggest? Berries like blueberries and strawberries are rich in antioxidants. Leafy greens like spinach and kale are also great choices. I'll make a note of that. How about healthier snacks? Nuts, like almonds and walnuts, make for satisfying and nutritious snacks.
they're a good source of healthy fats. I'll give them a try. What about beverages? Are there any healthier options? Water is always the best choice, but if you want some flavor, you can infuse it with fruits or herbs. Infused water sounds refreshing. I'll definitely try that. Any other tips for a healthier lifestyle? Regular exercise is important. Find activities you enjoy, like walking, cycling, or dancing. I'll make sure to incorporate exercise into my routine. Anna, thank you for the helpful recommendations. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help you explore healthier options. Your guidance is invaluable. Thank you for inspiring me to make healthier choices. Lesson 22, Family-Friendly Entertainment. Hi Anna, I'm looking for some family-friendly entertainment. Is it suitable for kids? Hi John, that's a good consideration. Some scenes might not be appropriate for younger audiences. I want to make sure it's enjoyable for the whole family. Any recommendations? Animated movies often cater to a wide age range and provide wholesome entertainment. That's a great idea. Are there any specific animated movies you suggest? Movies like Finding Nemo, Toy Story, and The Incredibles are popular choices for families. Those sound like fantastic options. What about TV shows suitable for kids? Shows like Paw Patrol, Peppa Pig, and Masha and the Bear are entertaining and kid-friendly. I'll check them out. How about books? Any recommendations for children's literature? Classic books like Charlotte's Web, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, and Matilda are beloved by kids. Those are timeless classics. Anna, thank you for the family-friendly recommendations. Lesson 23, Exploring Beach Destinations. Hi Anna, I love beach vacations. Have you been to Myrtle Beach? It's in South Carolina. Hi John, Myrtle Beach is a beautiful destination known for its stunning coastline and vibrant atmosphere. That sounds amazing. What are some must-see attractions in Myrtle Beach? The Myrtle Beach Boardwalk, Broadway at the Beach, and Ripley's Aquarium are popular attractions to visit. I'll make sure to check them out. Are there any water activities available? Absolutely. Myrtle Beach offers opportunities for swimming, surfing, paddleboarding, and even jet skiing. That's fantastic. Are there any nearby natural attractions worth exploring? Yes, you can visit Huntington Beach State Park or take a short drive to explore the breathtaking beauty of Brook Green Gardens. I'll add them to my itinerary. Anna, thank you for the recommendations for Myrtle Beach. You're welcome. I hope you have a memorable beach vacation in Myrtle Beach.
Your knowledge of travel destinations is impressive. Thank you for sharing your insights. You're an adventurous traveler. Enjoy the sun, sand, and surf of Myrtle Beach to the fullest. Your friendship is cherished. Thank you for everything. Lesson 24, Understanding Fragrance Usage Hi Anna, I recently bought a new fragrance. When should I use it? Only at night? Hi John, fragrance usage depends on personal preference. You can use it any time when you want to smell pleasant. That's good to know. Are there any guidelines on where to apply fragrance? Common areas include the wrists, neck, and behind the ears. These pulse points enhance the scent. I'll remember that. Should I apply the fragrance directly on my clothes? It's best to apply fragrance directly on your skin, as it interacts with your body chemistry for a unique scent. I see. How much fragrance should I use each time? A little goes a long way. Start with a small amount and gradually increase if needed. I'll keep that in mind. Anna, thank you for the advice on fragrance usage. You're welcome. Enjoy the experience of wearing your new fragrance with confidence. Your expertise is valuable. Thank you for helping me understand fragrance usage. Lesson 25, Captivating Love Stories Hi Anna, I heard about a beautiful and romantic love story. Can you share it with me? Hi John, of course. There's a tale that's hard to believe. It's filled with twists and turns. I'm intrigued. What happened in this extraordinary love story? Well, they met unexpectedly, and their connection was instant. Sparks flew from the very beginning. That sounds like fate. Did they face any challenges in their relationship? Indeed, they encountered numerous obstacles that tested their love and commitment to each other. How did they overcome those obstacles? Was their love strong enough? Despite the odds, their love prevailed. They supported and encouraged each other through it all. That's truly inspiring. I can't help but root for their love story. Many people couldn't resist rooting for them. Their story captured hearts all around the world. It must be an incredible feeling to witness such a captivating love story. Absolutely. It reminds us that love knows no boundaries and can conquer even the toughest challenges. Thank you for sharing this mesmerizing love story with me.